Welcome back to the Knot of the Week series. This week, we look at the clove hitch. The clove hitch is also commonly referred to as the double hitch. There are several methods for tying the clove hitch, so I'm going to cover some of the most common ones. For an open-ended object or pole, make two twists in your rope, one away from you and one towards you. Take the loop that is facing towards you and place it behind the other loop. Then, place the two loops over the object. Pull the two ends of the rope to tighten. Also on an open-ended object or pole, you can twist the rope as if you're tying an overhand knot and then place it over the pole. Then repeat this one or more times and tighten by pulling the two ends of the rope. When the object you're tying to doesn't have an open end, toss the rope over it. Go around again, forming an X with the rope. Then push the working end through this X on the third pass. For climbers, you can do this one-handed with your carabiner. From your harness, clip to the carabiner. Reach around the back side of the rope and twist the working end towards the carabiner, forming the same toward and away pattern we saw in the first example. Then clip this loop to the carabiner and tighten it by pulling upwards on the rope. The clove hitch can be adjusted easily, making it a great universal hitch to use for securing to a post or other object. Its adjustability is helpful for tightening lines such as the guy lines on your tent. You can easily adjust these by pulling the standing end of the rope towards the knot while pulling the excess on the working end. Other uses include stringing objects together, setting up a rope or tape barrier, the first tier of meshes when creating a net, or any other reason you would have to secure a rope to an object. The clove hitch can easily spill if the standing end is pulled forcefully in the wrong direction. The clove hitch was in use as far back as the early 16th century as part of the climbing sections on ships used by sailors to stow sails. Here you could find the clove hitch uses the crossing knot for securing ratlins to shrouds. Ratlins are the horizontal lines and shrouds are the larger vertical ropes they are tied to. Here's a bonus for you. With practice, you can tie this knot in one hand. Start with the rope hanging from your thumb. Reach down and across your hand with your pinky and pinch the rope between your pinky and ring finger. Then reach down with your index and middle fingers to grab the rope. Let the rope fall over your index finger and toward your thumb. At this point, bring your thumb and index finger together. Now you have a clove hitch tied to your thumb, or you can place the two loops over a post. Don't get too frustrated on this one, as it does take some practice to perfect. But once perfected, it could be a fun way to impress your friends. Thank you for watching this episode of Knot of the Week. Check back next week when we look at the bowline.